I've got no roots, but my home was never on the ground. I've got no roots, but my home was never on the ground. Good boy. Here they come. Good boy. Is that a good girl? Good boy. Yes. Good boy, you got your lead. Yes. Good boy. Easy. Eyes up. Good girl. Good boy. What's your time? Nicely done. Good bean. And he pooped before he jumped today. Thanks, Andrea, and I'll leave. Dad filming me. Good. Good girl. Eyes up. Yeah. This is bad filming, I'm so sorry. Good boy. Don't drop your inside shoulder. Good. Good girl. Hands forward, eyes up. Atta girl. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, a nice recovery there, he tripped. Good boy, aw, poor Bean. Aw. It's okay, Beanie. Balance with your outside shoulder, Shelby. Eyes up. Atta girl. That's better. Good. Oh, it's okay. Woo! Stinky man. Go. <laughs> hey guys, so I didn't really film in between my rounds and stuff because I was busy, but I'll post some of the photos that we took of Milo after. But he won his meters, um, like, not meter, he's, oh my god, we're not doing the meters. Um, he won his .70 round match the clock because he was only .3 seconds off of the optimal time, which is, like, match the clock, basically. You just want to get as close to the time as you possibly can um, without going over it. So he was only .3 seconds off. It was an amazing time, so I kind of figured that he would win that round, and he was just so so good in it and then he got a third in his 0.70 jump off round today and then he ended up getting champion for one of the 0.70 divisions and then reserve champion for the other division so he won a cooler and a saddle pad which is awesome because usually we don't win anything um and then with his with his 0.75 
round today he stopped at the second jump but like he was super backed off of my leg going in and just wasn't happy and like the gnats and stuff at the show are horrible like we have bites all over us and he was getting bitten a lot so my assumption is that he was pretty pissed off about being bitten and also really tired because it's the last day of the show and given how backed off he was when he went into the ring I should have pulled him out and not shown that class but I did want to try at least getting him around to finish on a good note instead of just pulling him out and teaching him that if he throws a temper tantrum he doesn't have to go back in but that was a bad call on my part because given the type of horse he is he's not willing to work when he's uncomfortable and so I would have liked to finish on a better note however he was so good at this show and he was actually getting braver and having more fun that I really can't complain because usually we don't even finish our classes let alone win the divisions um yeah and he had little welts all over his belly from all the bugs biting him like it rained yesterday and i guess after that they got even worse because they've been bad all weekend but today they were just like everywhere like you could see them all over his fly bonnet because they're trying to bite his poor ears and stuff and we did try to fly spray him but like he really doesn't like being fly sprayed and sometimes he's more funny about it than others and today he was just like not having it and i had to go to the arena so we didn't have time to like be like bruh like let us fly spray you but anyways um so yeah it was it wasn't a bad round and we had a really good show and it was just the very last round that we did that was like he wasn't comfortable like he was unhappy and i should have listened but anyways um the welts will go down and he'll be fine but he's just cranky af and yeah anyways and now we're heading back to the barn after milo was a butthole about getting in the trailer chuckles it's, chuckles the clown over here is just chuckling about unfunny things so anyways i'm just gonna do a shameless self-promotion for my shirt this is my milestone equestrian sweater it's pretty dirty because milo rubs his dirty nose all over me um but yeah it has milo's face on it and then it says milestone equestrian and i sell them at the link in my bio if you want to go check them out because like as you guys know horse shows are very expensive so um the money that i get from like my store and stuff goes towards helping me pay for things like that and save up to be able to do those things so i really appreciate you guys checking it out and then i also have the new sun shirts that you'll see you'll have seen in the first part of this vlog the vlog vlog i can't talk um you would have seen them in the first part of it and those can be ordered at one of the links down below too if you want to check those out and once again i really appreciate like all the support in relation to like shopping in my store and all sorts of things like that or like checking out my patreon account and helping that way i really appreciate it like obviously all the equipment that i use for youtube and stuff and putting the videos together it's time consuming and then like the cameras and stuff do cost money so i do appreciate all the support that you guys give me by watching and sharing my videos and checking out my store and all of that because it really does help me afford to do what i do 